Donald Trump says she's nasty, but I can be nastier than she can ever be. That is not a two-life crew album title. That is what she actually said. Is that a preview of what's to come at the next debate? Republican Congressman Brian Zinke of Montana joins us. Nira Tandon, president and CEO of the Center for American Progress, also part of Clinton's transition team. Uh, Rachel Campos Duffy is with us. She's spokeswoman for the Libra Initiative. And CNN political commentator Van Jones is here with us. Okay, so, Congressman, um, I don't think she's loyal to Bill, if you want to know the truth, is what uh, Donald Trump said yesterday. Um, you heard Mayor Giuliani try to talk about other things that call into question Secretary Clinton, things that Donald Trump did not say. Is this a good path for your nominee to get to the White House? You know, I think what we need to focus on with counts. Economy, national security, get back to what's happened when we've created vacuums around the world. Economy, when you look at, in, in my lifetime, there's been two presidents that have had it right as far as taxes goes. John F. Kennedy and, Ro and Ronald Reagan. Mm -hmm. Both of them looked at a plan that said we have a lower taxes and to raise taxes, as an example, let's talk about that. Is it whether you're raising taxes on the individuals or small businesses or corporations, it means the same thing, less jobs. So this sounds like to me like a no. You don't think you should be talking about Hillary Clinton's <laughs> well, I, I think marriage. we need to prioritize what we're going to talk about. America's ready for change in the right direction. Rachel, stage an intervention with your nominee. What, well, what do you think he should be talking about? Well, he should be talking about the issues, but let's not forget, I mean, it was, there was some footage that was leaked this week of uh, Michelle Obama, who was just as ferocious during the uh, primary with Barack Obama. No, she no, said, she wasn't. Wait a minute. She said, wait a minute. She said... You can't go into the White House if you can't take care of your own house. That's very clear what she was talking about. Um, but it's a dangerous road for him to take because a woman going against a woman, um, and if he tries to do this at the debate, it could be uh, it could be treacherous for him because he has to handle it very carefully. But he's right to go after her if she tries to pull the war on women on him. Man. Well, but he's not right to just make up stuff and lie. I mean, it does, first of all, I think that you've seen... No, I didn't say that <laughs> comment was okay. true. I'm just saying but, this is all in the context of infidelity and who's an enabler and who's... I mean, I, it's I, a bad topic, but it's... It's, 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 she's it's a good topic for Donald Trump? No, yeah, it's I just not a good topic, but if she brings the war on women to him, he's got to push back yeah, on well, some level. Uh, or maybe he could just stick with his strategy. And, and here's a problem that you have. When you're the President of the United States, guess what? Sometimes somebody might say something mean about you. You can't then tear up your playbook and go on a week-long rant and tear tweeting in the middle of the night. What happened to him was he was doing well. He was doing frighteningly well. I was terrified 10 days ago that this guy was going to be able to be disciplined. Hillary Clinton, in 15 minutes, said two or three things and threw him off his game, and he has not been able to recover since the debate. That's what's I mean, going I on. Think, and that's think, dangerous for the country. I think the reality, and just to go off what Van said, I think the reality is that we are in day six of the meltdown. Day six of the meltdown. He, could, he did a terrible, he had a terrible debate performance. Everyone sees that. He sees the state polls moving uh, towards Hillary. 11 state polls were out this week. She's beating him in every single one. He can't take that. And so this is the latest meltdown. I think if you want to have someone be commander in chief, we are seeing in real time that Donald Trump is not capable Amen. of dealing with the stress of being president because he's showing us in real time that he lashes out, he attacks people, he says crazy things, attacking her and her marriage when he has a history of he's on his third marriage, he's had affairs. These are terrible but things. No one should talk about But his point, but his well, point about the marriage, and I don't, I'm, I'm not disagreeing that he needs to get back to the topic, but his point about the marriage is not whether Bill had an infidelity or not. His point is, goes back, goes back to her role in it. And let's be honest, she okay. had on her, wait a minute, she had on her website, all women who were raped need to be believed, and that mysteriously was removed and there, from oh. her website uh, this okay, summer. Okay, That's not her point. The, the, the point he made yesterday was a <laughs> wild and baseless allegation exactly. that Hillary Clinton has not been faithful to Bill, Congressman. Is that what your, your nomination... You want him to win. You want... I, you, I do. And, and what's important to me, and I think what's important to America is this, is that national security, law and order, you look at what's happening overseas, let's focus this election about America. And all Americans is... Why are you talking to me? Agreed. Talk to your well, 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 I'm, I'm talking... You're, you're, yeah, you're, you're, like you're, talk you're talk in the Clinton, admin, a, you're in the Clinton debate, transition team, right? We had a great team, debate right? on those issues, and he well, performed... We did. No, wait a minute, wait, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute. It's my turn. Right, right. Now, you're in the Clinton, Clinton team mm -hmm. for the transition, all right? I'm in no team. I'm in America's team. Mm -hmm. And I spent my life fighting over there so it wouldn't come here. 
So I think as America, we need to focus on making sure that we, we deal with the problems overseas, deal with an economy here, so yeah. we can make sure Speaking we have... Speaking of the economy, can I say this well, one? Well, wait a minute. So okay. we can afford to make sure we keep a strong military, afford to keep the promises we've made. This is what this the, election is you about. Should run for president, quo. You should run for president of the United States as a Republican because you sound great and your candidate doesn't. Well, I, I'd say what I here. mean, but we uh, need as, a, as an American this status quo is not working for anybody. Let, let's, let's just go, let Van have the uh, last word in this block. Uh, uh, okay, so uh, on, the, on the tax issue, part of the thing that makes no sense about what in the last block, this was his personal income tax. Absolutely. Hillary Clinton decided on her personal income tax not to take every deferment. Apparently, Donald Trump decided to, to lose a billion dollars and then wind up as a winner on his tax forms. Listen, that makes Americans upset because no matter what ordinary Americans do, they can't seem to win. And no matter what this guy does, he can't seem to lose because he's obeying rules he helped to write.